Hello, Matty coming at you with another Planet Coaster episode. Episode 10 today. We've made it to double digits. I can't believe how far we've come already. So, I have a bit of an apology to make. So I'm sorry. Oh, I guess you want to know what for. Well, in between episodes 9 and 10, I've done my usual tweaking and editing. And... My little bit of editing may have turned into something quite substantial. And I didn't record it. So I've learnt a valuable lesson. Record everything. So let me go and show you exactly what it is that I built. So let's go for a guest perspective and go through the entrance. And just outside the entrance, I have built this water feature going down the centre. Oh, hello, Johnny Bear. Johnny Bear 84 walking past there. So, as we walk down here towards Dragonheart, I had to redo all the foliage and shrubbery on the left as it just clashed completely with what I'd done. And there you go, a water feature going right down the centre. It took me so long to get it the exact way that I wanted. And if we switch it to night, I think it looks absolutely beautiful at night. I would actually go out on a whim and say it's arguably one of the, my favourite things that I've built in the game. I think it looks absolutely stunning. Um, mostly due to the lighting at night and it really seems to go with the theming of the park as well. So I hid some blue lights underneath, um, faded them to give that blue kind of tint, um, put some spotlights underneath as well, focused on the entrance building to light that up a bit better. So I've also built this building over here and there is the queue that goes off to the yet unnamed ride so suggestions please for that ride and this building i'm going to put some gift shops there and then on the other side some food and drink and turn all of this into a food court area as you may have just noticed i've also decorated and themed the ride something I planned on doing in episode 10 so apologies again but it looks nice it would have made a very good time lapse but it's done and then I've also built another little seating area just here and then in this little section here I thought I'm actually going to build a children's play area so uh, make some climbing frames and swings and slides and whatnot and I want to build a little tiny toilet there because I did realise there's not many toilets over there, this side of the park. And then we come back over here and then you've got the entrance over there. And if you look from the viewpoint of over here, you can actually see the unnamed ride off in the distance. I made sure to leave a gap in them trees so that when you do come out you would be able to see the ride. And again something else that looks really nice at night. A bit of a camera glitch there, not sure what that was about. I could have had it I could have edited that out, but oh well. And there's the lighting for that. So yeah, I've done quite a lot in between episodes. But today's plan. So I want to get that building finished. I want to get the picnic area done. And I want to get all of this area done. And um, possibly up there as well, maybe. Um, and then that will free up all of this for future episodes. So if we can get all of that done in this episode, and then episode 11, we'll be able to move up up that other way so let's make a start shall we let's crack on and get this building done and hit that music for the time lapse see you in a moment
And there we have it. The building is completed with food and shops, with another set of toilets and the picnic area as well. I quite like how it turned out. It very much fits the theming of the area and the theming of the park. To be honest, we seem to have very much gone for this wood theme around the park. Um, thinking in between episodes, I may do another backstage area off camera and use the side of this building as the entranceway, maybe fence that off a little bit. So let's pop it back to daytime and have a look over here. So I was thinking do I put another seating area but I didn't feel it was needed so I just popped down some foliage so used a mixture of different colours, trees, bushes put some rocks in there and then um, hit it off with some bushes going down the side. Doesn't take up a lot of the piece count and you can cover quite a big area of the park with the foliage and it looks really nice afterwards. Looks quite natural. And then the same this side as well. Um, I thought it did lack a bit of colour so I wanted to put uh, maybe another couple of trees down and then use some trees and drop them below ground to give that mixture of colour in the bushes. Move some of the bushes back away from the path. 
and that's that area done and now I want to get that play area done and possibly there as well but we'll see what kind of time we've got because this episode is already uh, 14 and a half minutes so this is going to be a longer episode than normal but the park is really taking shape so let's get into that second time lapse and let's get this kids play area done I am also going to modify that path as well so enjoy
and there we go one completed playground actually quite happy with that um, for taking up that little tiny area and for so small a piece count I don't think that's too bad it's been quite a productive episode all in all I especially like the seesaw with the tires underneath I made myself chuckle when I put the tires underneath because as soon as I put the tires over there I was like I've got to put tires there too but let's close off the episode so thank you ever so much for watching thank you for all the support so far remember to stay safe and look after yourselves and enjoy the single blooper that's at the end just the one today I'm only going to put in genuine bloopers I'm not going to force them because people will know if they're fake enjoy the blooper enjoy the still shots and I will see you shortly for episode 11 goodbye everybody to redo all the foliage and shrubbery to the left because it quite it, it, it.